I'm just so happy and optimistic that the older I get, the more I will fall in love with myself each and every day, and I hope that will be the same for you too. Don't bake your skin, bake bandage. Hello, perfect beauties. My name is Daisy. I am the CEO and founder of Banish. Today I wanted to do a heart-to-heart -heart topic about talking about the realities of aging and getting older and just being a lot more, I would say, wise and about the pressures of society always making women feel like younger is better and that the older you get, like the less valuable, you know, you kind of get. So. I live in Los Angeles and I'm in the beauty industry and I'm from a very traditional Chinese background and I've always been told from a young age that the younger a girl is the more like valuable she is basically in terms of sexually and for marriage material and for anything deeming a social value of somebody. And the consensus is you know in third world nations, the younger a bride is, the more valuable she is. The less experience a girl has, the more valuable she is to other guys, right? And I feel like in Chinese culture and in Asian culture, the younger a woman is, the more desirable she is for a marriage, or it just seems like, you know, guys always want a girl who's younger and then somebody who's older. And I feel like there's just so much pressure for women to be young and youthful. <laughs> Um, even in LA, um, where I live and where Banish is based and stuff, you know, you see so many women with uh, facelifts and plastic surgery, and you see women with so much Botox. You see women, you know, just trying to not be their age, right? They're trying to fight the signs of aging. There's so many cosmetic products out there that are called anti-aging products. Products to fight wrinkles, crow's feet, you know, everything. And uh, when you get older, you don't wanna have stretch marks or cellulite, you know, things that just naturally come to you as you age. I feel like women, we live in this huge societal vacuum that tells us that being younger is constantly better, right? Like young, 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 young is good. And I never noticed this, but you know, just a few years ago, I remember like, you know, when you're younger, when you're like 13, 14, 15, 10, 11, 12, you know, you're, people are always asking you, oh, how old are you? You know, how old are you, sweetie? And stuff like that. And you just proudly say like, I'm 11 years old and stuff. And now, you know, I think once I graduated from college, I noticed people stopped asking me. And then people would start saying things like, oh you're only like 20 or oh are you a student not because they actually thought i was a student but because they wanted to compliment me assuming me for a young student would make me feel better about myself and i was like why would that make me feel better about myself like that's almost an insult because i'm not you know a student or whatnot right but the societal dialogue tells us that younger is better and even now people will say like oh no like you look you know 22 you look 25 nobody ever will say like you look older than you are and i and i know for a fact that i think i do look older than i am but i know people don't say that because it's not nice in society to say that and i just don't really understand why women were so pressured to look young and to be young and to be youthful and to be like naive and innocent and carefree and this 22 year old girl who just you know, moved to LA and has a whole world at her fingertips and has no responsibilities, but like, you know, the rent and bills she has to pay, you know? I don't know why we glorify that kind of person. I don't know why we think younger is better because to me, I'm 29 years old and I plan to never lie about my age, to never conceal my age, to never try to do anything that makes me look superficially a lot younger than I am. Of course, I'm gonna take care of my skin and of course I'm gonna take care of myself so I can age gracefully, but I'm not gonna just like inject so much Botox into my face to look younger because I just feel like me and who I am, I am not defined by, you know, pretending to not have the experiences that I've had. I feel like every single day and every single year in my life has brought so many experiences that I feel like it would be it would be almost cruel to myself to discount those and to share with people that 
I have a lot less wisdom and experience than I actually do. I remember, you know, at 22 me and then 29 me, I, you know, were very, very different. And I would never kind of go back to that 22 year old me because I was just so not confident and I felt like, you know, I, I felt pressure to be everything to everybody. And I still feel pressure to this day about that. But I'm just a lot more confident and strong in my own skin and a lot more independent than I ever was at 22. And I never want to look 22. And I never want people to think that I'm 22. Like, that's just not something that I want people to, to believe and see, you know? I want to be valued for my mind and my heart and my soul and my ambition and my drive and my thoughtfulness to other people and I don't want to be valued by things like my innocence, <laughs> my youth and my perky body <laughs> and my tight skin. Like I don't want people to view me in that way. I want people to view me for other qualities. So this is why I don't understand why we have this obsession with youth. This is why I don't understand why we spent so much money on trying to make ourselves look younger. This is why I don't understand why we, you know, risk our lives and go under the knife to make ourselves even look 10 years younger and why we feel like we have to lie about our age because I don't think it's something guys <laughs> feel so much pressure to. I don't feel like guys need to lie about their age, maybe to a smaller extent, but not to the full extent women. I don't, I th they say guys age more like wine and women age more like milk. I just feel like they're like as guys get older their opportunity grows and they have the world at their fingertips whereas women our world at our fingertips is at like 21 22 and then it kind of goes down the hill from there but i don't i don't want to have to believe that that's the case and i don't want to have to fit into that societal pressure that tells us that women were just we're just based by our youth and our beauty like that's what we're good for because no i feel like women we should be based for our minds and our hearts and our experiences and our experiences and wisdom through life and um, I never want to turn into that woman that is ashamed of who she is and is ashamed of what she's done in her life and she's ashamed of all the experiences in there. You know, I'm going to be turning 30 in less than a year and I think the thought would scare a lot of people, but I think to me, 30 is going to be an age where, you know, it's gonna come really fast before I know it. But at 30, I'm going to be grateful for everything that has happened in my life. And grateful that I have been able to live another year and have been able to do so many things in that year. And I wanna share with everybody, you know, all my experiences and what I've done up to age 30. Once I'm 40 and 50 and 60 and 70 and you know however far my life goes I want to tell people about that. I don't ever want to have to hide and try to pretend that I'm somebody I'm not. I don't want to have to hide and pretend that I'm this naive little girl who doesn't know anything because that's not who I am and that's okay. I don't want to have to try to do things to make me look younger. I know People are like, oh, if you wear dark lipstick, it ages you. Or, oh, if you do your hair this way, it ages you. Or, oh, if you do that thing, it ages you. Well, well, well screw that. If I want to wear something, if I want to do something, I'm going to do it, you know, regardless of how old I look. Because, again, beauty and age, it's like a society-defined construct that preys on your insecurities to sell you more stuff, right? Anti-aging, Botox, whatever kind of creams, right? And that's why at Banish, we don't, really provide anything that promises you to look like 10 years younger. Because again, I don't think people should look 10 years younger. I think people should look the age they are, you know, and look the way they are. But we provide products that really help you and your skin by using the pure natural ingredients in there. But we've never, you know, put people on our advertising campaigns and collateral of people who have been photoshopped or tweaked or altered in any sort of way. So. I just really want to encourage everybody because my mission to you guys and the mission from the brand is to spread confidence and to feel good about yourself no matter how you look and how old you are. Again, I want to feel good about myself no matter how old I am and I don't ever have to want to change and pretend that I'm a different age just to please people and just to make society think I'm more attractive. So that's my spiel for today. And I really wanna know from you ladies out there, maybe a little bit older ladies, you know, girls or ladies in your 30s or 40s, like, 
How have you dealt with this pressure of trying to look young as you've gotten older? Have you felt like society views you differently once you're older? Do you feel more confident once you're older? Are you more sure of yourself? Like, I'm curious how your views have changed as you've gotten older because I'm just so happy and optimistic that the older I get, the more I will fall in love with myself each and every day, and I hope that will be the same for you too. So thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and comment below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.